Hello everyone. So the new lesson is coming. Today, uh, I will talk about how to create a custom component and link the component into our template. Okay. So in the last session, we talked about how to create custom template and we also have created two pages use uh, our custom template the contact way template first one we create by smart edit and the second page we created by uh, uh, impact right okay and uh, in uh, today's session i will create a custom component named youtube video component and i will link that component into our template like this Okay, so let's start it. Uh, we open this page in my side from my side. I create this one. Totally, we have five steps to create custom component. First one, define the item type component in item personal file the second define the impact in this data for the component and add the component into the contact by template the last uh, the third we create controller and gsp by for this component and the fourth step, step <coughs> we apply the gsp by template to include the custom component the last one verify result like this okay firstly I will return back the uh, out file as I am doing this for in my side first <coughs> I will remove this one let's see so this is my tab page, right? I will reload this page to revert back the reverse video. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> awesome, right? Okay, let's get started. In step one, define the item type. We just copy this uh, define from for the item type YouTube video component with the file field with integer page integer video ID string also play fully and probably a self control building as well. Okay, let's copy this one and move into the item. Uh, for item not email here and paste your item tie into this session okay. and after that you need to run the and under uh, platform folder because uh, I'm run already so on uh, I don't need to run again after you run uh, and uh, on the command line successfully you open and track the model is generated or not by uh, firstly we need to uh, refresh on the platform folder in here refresh this one by press F5 or just uh, click here okay after it refresh successfully you can search the model generated by the platform youtube you see this one youtube video component model of java this one with high video id of the flight show control okay now we finish step one let's move on to step two in the step two we um, 
we need the data for the uh, item type which uh, we recent created that means we create new instance for the YouTube video component model in here and copy this impact right copy this one and paste into the uh, node part uh, we are testing on the UK side eyebrow UK side so we uh, only need to in here look like this uh, we copy this one for the UK side now <coughs> we uh, we can create new instance for the video YouTube video component and with the URD video CMS component, right? Reference component reference same with the URD. Okay, let's copy this one and go inside the SAC. SAC here. Here, press into here, and uh, <coughs> you can post any name you want run this one import okay wait a little bit it is loading <coughs> okay mm. in the time we wait after this uh, okay successfully let's track our impact uh, import successfully or not you just go into the YouTube video component type in here type right and then you search for YouTube video component you see click on this and check the data inside click on search by time okay <clears throat> now we have one state value okay you see in administration tab you can see our value input into this one with i video id how to play and so control height 500 uh, how to play phone and width 1250 video ID okay awesome next move to the step 3 now we need to create a controller and GSP pay for this component. That means we need to create a Java file to handle requests from this component. And also we need to create GSP file to handle for the UI. Firstly, we need to create a YouTube video component controller. Okay, copy this file and <coughs> just click one because I created so it exists you can create it in under your store file your store file module and under web resource and under the controller CMS CMS package <coughs> in here you create a Java file and paste the content from my site to here. Finish. And now we create GSP file. It's also under the extension, under the store for extension. Move on into here. <coughs> under web folder, right? Star fun web web root web finity view and uh, 
now on the CMS we create a new TSP file and then you uh, paste the uh, content from my site into this one remember this uh, ESP file with the local case name remember this one after step 4 I now move on to step 4 <coughs> we uh, we need to update uh, for the base template to include the component remember in the last session we create a base template with the contact layout page ESP and we have a title here uh, we had a sample text here this is my contact page you can see uh, this is my contact page <coughs> this is the text from here and now if we want to include the uh, UI of our component we need to paste the following text following code okay copy here copy this one let me explain a little bit with the position it correspond with the uh, position what we define in the impact in a step uh, in here in here in step four well with the position it here uh, we define in the uh, content slot name for the template you can tap by template and here okay now for the right feature we will add it to the CMS component and with the div class uh, and uh, your class you can remove it because uh, currently I don't have any styles for this class uh, you can ignore it that's okay for the CMS uh, by slot remember we need to add namespace for this one namespace CMS star okay save it okay now I will copy this one to outside and uh, explain a little bit <coughs> for the first one this e the condense lot we need to define for the instant video component when we init its instant we will link uh, register this instance into the content slot with the UID here with the UID uh, YouTube video component and we will use this UID to link into our template for the content slot for template in here content slot right YouTube video component and uh, we if we want to use this uh, YouTube video component landing page with the position in YouTube video in the content slot name content slot name is uh, YouTube video uh, you can imagine that in our template before we haven't had the, uh, the place for this um, component so we need to define a place to include the custom component and the place with the name the YouTube video on the template you can tap by template okay and come uh, component type group you can leave it empty or anything else you want currently it uh, doesn't have a meaning uh, in the later session I will mention more about component type group okay Really, you can uh, ignore it, you, or you can leave empty or any type logo or something. Now you just follow me. Logo, that's okay. And uh, after we have a logo, 
uh, we have the place for the custom component with the name of YouTube video. You need to link that position with the uh, content slot uh, correspond and uh, that's a content slot YouTube video component in here. And now you, I hope you clear now for this input. After you, uh, after that, we can run this impact in one time. Once time, in as I see, place into here and import content. Oh, it have problem because uh, empty. Uh, maybe it's the uh, duplicate the uh, UI cannot create content slot for the map with the value item type view map due to unique interceptor ambiguous UID ah Okay, so firstly, I will remove this one. Let's check a little bit on this one. Mm, not allow the same key, right? And check with UID. Ah, you see, you see, you see here. I will remove this one. I will remove this one. Okay, yes. And run again. We run again for this one. Import. Loading, loading, loading. <coughs> I hope it well. Okay, successfully. Now we finish step four. In the step five, we are verify the results. Okay, before verify results, we uh, need to run and open the command line and run and and. Okay, after that, uh, we will start the server and then you can go into this way and reload it again. <coughs> you will see the awesome thing. Mm, okay, awesome, right? Oh, custom component loading. And now you can edit the content inside. For example, I want to make it uh, smaller. For example, I reduce the 300, and this one is uh, 70, 750, 70. Okay, awesome. So. That is for this tutorial and uh, in the next uh, video I will talk about how to publish, how to view our page, our uh, uh, page in the online site. That means on uh, here, currently is the 404, that means cannot file the page because uh, we haven't published the page yet. I haven't published this page, so we cannot view in the online. Okay, so thank you for watching and subscribe to follow me in the next video.